All right, good morning. Uh, typically, I do my live at 11 on Thursdays, and yesterday I had uh, my sweet stepdaughter's dentist appointment, so we weren't able to do it yesterday, so we are going to do it today. We are going into week four of Lonopoly together. So, what we have kind of broken down is the steps in which it is to purchase a home or go through a mortgage process. So we're gonna hit week four today of setup and processing. Um, real quick, I'm gonna tell you, um, I'm gonna be vulnerable and tell you something that is funny about me. I don't know, and I guess maybe I'm, I don't know if I'm the only one. So if any of y'all, let me know, when I order something that I'm super excited about, whether it's on Amazon or somewhere, and I know it's coming, I get super excited. <laughs> like, I'm like a little kid, like, and my office sits out at the front of our house so I can actually see out the front. And I'll be working and I just kind of look, like, is he here? Is my package here? Is he here? Is he here? And I look and, gosh, the, the guys that deliver to us have to think I'm a complete idiot because I, I like, I see him coming and I like come running to the door and I'm like waiting for him and I got my package and I get all excited. So I don't know if I'm the only one, but the other day I'm sitting here and I'm working and my son comes down stairs and he's standing at the door and he's got his phone like this, except I don't have my glasses on, but he's standing there looking at his phone and he's looking outside and he's looking at his phone and I'm like, what are you doing? And he's like, oh, I have a package coming. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm sure we'll hear the door. Or I'll see the guy. And he's like, no, 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 no. He's almost here. I can see. <laughs> I had no idea that that was a thing. So the technology has surpassed me to where I just get excited looking out the window all day and wondering when my package is going to be here. But my son actually is able to track it on his phone. So here in a little bit, I'm going to tell you something about technology that I am super excited to tell you that is coming out. So I want to, we'll get to that, but we're going to go ahead and start setup and processing. So when a loan, now remind you, we've gone through pre-qual, you've gotten pre-qualed, you have been shopping, you've entered into a contract. We have done the inspection and the appraisal. Now we're going into setup. So what setup is, is basically where we're doing the prep work of making sure one of the things that goes out is disclosures. Disclosures are an upfront set of documents that go out to you, the consumer, that tell you information that has been created by law that you should know. So within three days of an application, which that typically is a contract driven time, but um, there are six pieces of information that we gather that quantify an application. Once we have that, then we are by law required to get you disclosures within three days. That's kind of telling you uh, what's called a loan estimate. It's kind of giving you your upfront set of fees that you'll see at closing. And it's just a estimate 
to the best of our ability at that time. We still have to get things in, your insurance, your taxes, things start to come in and we will update that information. We also let you know that you have the right to receive a copy of your appraisal, that you can't commit loan fraud or you go straight to jail. No. <laughs> so again, the upfront set of documents is created and um, not all lenders, but our lenders uh, with us, Loan Depot, we can send those to you and you just digitally acknowledge those. You can do it from your phone. It's super easy. So you'll acknowledge that you've received those. Then that's kind of the setup. What our processing team does, so let me tell you what, when you hear, oh, it's with my processor. Processing is like a hub. It is a centralized center point and they act as the liaison between departments. So in the future, in the next couple of weeks, we're gonna talk about underwriting, we're gonna talk about closing, we're gonna talk about servicing. We've got the appraisal desk where we order your appraisal. And that processor, along by myself, with together, we act as liaison to all those different departments. And so the processor is there gathering that information and ordering some of those things. One of the things that they order is your homeowner's insurance. So at the time that you find your home, you're gonna be required to get homeowner's insurance. Homeowner's insurance is different than mortgage insurance. So let me explain that. Homeowner's insurance protects your home against wind, tornado, hail, those types of structural things. Your mortgage insurance actually is there to protect the lender in case you default. Mortgage insurance is required on loans that um, do not have 20% equity in them. So different, homeowner's insurance, mortgage insurance. So you'll be required to get homeowner's insurance. Once you find a provider, then we request the information from them. Your homeowner's insurance actually has to be kind of specific to your home. It must cover um, replacement costs, your loan amount. There's certain requirements that are put on us to make sure that those are done to protect you and us should anything happen to your home. So the processor will order that from your actual homeowner's insurance agent. And don't worry if you are going through this and you get to that point and you say, I don't know anybody that does homeowner's insurance, your lender will have some great referrals. When people come to me, I absolutely refer out. So don't worry about that. The next piece is your title work. The, the processor is gonna order your title work. Your title work is a disinterested third party company, the title company, you hear them, and they play a role to stay apart from all parties in the transaction as a disinterested third party. They disperse the money when it comes time for closing. But what they also do is they give you and I as the lender an insurance policy. And you're thinking another insurance policy. Well, the insurance is on your actual land, the, the actual property itself, making sure it's free and clear of any prior encumbrances from prior sellers, owners, things like that. So for example, if your prior seller didn't mow their grass and they have a lien from the city for fines, then the city can't come after you because that was a prior owner and you have an insurance policy to make sure that you are free and clear of those types of things. So that's what an, a title policy does. It also makes sure that it checks for building lines and, and, and it helps you know that your land is secure from any issues. Okay, so their processor is gonna order that as well. So that's what she's kind of doing. The other thing that she's doing is she is going to collect your documents. Now, you and I have collected some documents during pre-qual to go from a pre-qual to a pre-approved, but some of those documents have to be updated and they have to be a little bit more detailed than what we did at the prior pre-qualification. So when I asked for pay stubs, we get an updated pay stub in case it's been like, you know, 30, 40 days since you gave me the last one, we're gonna update that. We're gonna make sure we have all pages to your bank statement. So let me tell you something. I know that this has been, I've heard it a million times. Um, borrowers say, I went through a process before and gosh, they just kept asking me for stuff and asking me for stuff. Mm. That happens and here's why. When the documents, aren't the way we need them to make it insurable and saleable, we have to continue to ask. So for example, let's say that we get your bank statement and half the page is cut off and the date's half cut off, or one of the pages is missing, things like that, okay? Then we have to go back and ask for a better copy, or we have to ask that it's not cut off. 
So the processor is getting all of that information to make sure that when we deliver it to the underwriting team, which is next week, that they have what they need to get that loan done. Some of the things that they're looking for in your disclosures as well is, for example, let's say we see on your pay stub that you pay child support, but you didn't disclose that up front, so we're checking those things. We're checking to see if you have large deposits. Fannie Freddie FHA says if you have a deposit into your bank account and it's not normal, we have to prove that it wasn't a loan that you took out to go get this home. So that's why we ask those questions. That's why we're documented, documenting it the way that we are. So we're looking for undisclosed debts, loans. We're making sure that your income is supported. So that's kind of what's happening from a processing standpoint once they get that file. We're ordering stuff. They're pulling the stuff together. They're checking it. And then we're going to send it off to the underwriting team. We're going to dive into that next week and tune in because I'm going to touch base on self-employed borrowers. If you are an agent or you are a self-employed borrower yourself, you know sometimes there's struggles with proving income. So we're going to touch on that just a little bit when we dive into underwriting because I think it's a really important piece. I work with customers every single week that I work with them on their, their tax returns. And so I think that's a, a good place to be. Um, next week I'm touching on that. So, okay. I told you I had some cool news to tell you. I'm going to tell you now. So as we were talking about all these documents that we start gathering from a processing standpoint, back in the day, we would ask for two months uh, bank statements, two years W-2s. Now that is still required on some borrowers. Certain credit scores, certain programs, those types of documents are going to be needed. Okay. But we just talked about my son standing at the front door with his phone and the technology. Well, Loan Depot has a proprietary system that I am blown away by. Anthony Shea, our CEO, is partnered with an amazing, amazing woman. Her name is Tammy Richards, and she is our chief operating officer. And if you know me, you, I, you know I have a heart for operations. Like it was most of my career. And she is so forward thinking. You know, one of the struggles that and this is across the board, it doesn't matter what you do. When you deal with sales and operations, sometimes there's a struggle because ops has to do it one way, but sales is just trying to drive sales, right? And so in our business, Tammy Richards is a sales mentality and she is a forward thinker. So they have come out with a proprietary artificial intelligence to actually see conditions. So we can auto validate your bank statements we can auto validate your income. And the system, it's called Mellow Clear, is actually clearing conditions as the loan is going through the process without actually someone having to touch it. And so it's reducing the amount of documentation that if you're a lender, your customers have to come up with, if you're a consumer that you have to come up with. I am blown away and it got released this week. So I'm super excited about it. I can't wait to see the impact that it has on the streamlined process. You know, right now we are in such a busy environment. Guys, I can't tell you how busy this environment is right now in real estate. Re rates are still at record lows and it is still a thriving market. And so anything that we can do from a Loan Depot lender standpoint to save time and speed the process up, I am super excited. So that got released this week. So it's actually going to be an artificial intelligence that can help clear conditions along the way. So with that being said, we kind of covered setup, disclosures, processing, and then next week we're going to get into underwriting. So over that 30-day period that you see that it takes to close the loan, kind of all this is happening behind the scenes. And again, hats off to all the op staff during this environment that is just crushing it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And next week, again, underwriting, and we are going to get into a little bit of self-employed borrower business. And one more thing, some of you have reached out and asked me that maybe you've missed a week and you wanted to see them all. I'm going to post below. I posted them all to my YouTube channel. So I'd love for you to go on there, like, subscribe, watch them again, share them with consumers that are looking to buy. 
as we go through this process. It's some good information and I'm, I'm super excited to bring it to you. So Crystal, I know you had asked me, I'm gonna post it below um, so you can go back and see some of the ones that were missed. And if you need anything from me, you have questions, you have my contact information, and I'd love to help you guys. Thanks, and I hope you guys have a great weekend. Bye.